In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can get started with Zazzle. Whether you're completely new to the platform or just looking to level up your knowledge, I've got you covered. So, let's jump in. First things first, let's talk about what Print On Demand Pod actually is. If you're unfamiliar, Pod is an awesome business model where you can create and sell products without ever having to deal with physical inventory. Basically, you design the product, upload your design to a platform like Zazzle, and when someone buys it, the platform handles the printing, shipping, and delivery. You just sit back and collect your commission. No stockpile of t-shirts, mugs, or whatever you're designing. Everything is made as it's ordered. Pretty cool, right? All right, now that we've got a basic understanding of what print on demand is, let's dive into how you can kick off your journey on Zazzle. First things first, head over to Zazzle's homepage. From there, look for the sell on Zazzle link, which is usually right at the top of the page. Click on it, and you'll be taken to a section that explains how you can start selling your designs. Now, when you're ready to create your account, you'll have several options. You can sign up using your Facebook, Google, or Apple account, or you can go the traditional route and use your email address. Choose whichever method is most convenient for you. Personally, I prefer to use Google for quick access, so I'll sign up that way. Afterward, you'll need to follow the steps to complete your Zazzle account setup. This includes verifying your email, so keep an eye out for a confirmation message. Don't forget to check your spam or promotions folder just in case. Once that's all squared away, you'll be ready to dive into the fun part, customizing your store. Zazzle makes it easy to personalize everything, from the store name and logo to the product categories you want to feature. You'll have the freedom to set up your store exactly how you want it, which is great if you want to establish your brand and make it stand out from the crowd. The next step is uploading your designs, and I'll walk you through that in the next section. But for now, just take some time to get your store ready and make sure everything looks good. Now that your account is up and running, it's time to focus on building your store. One important thing to remember is that your store and profile are distinct entities. Your profile is essentially your personal account. This is where your details and preferences are stored. Your store, on the other hand, is where the magic happens. It's the place where you'll display and sell your products, so you'll want it to reflect your brand and style. First, you'll need to give your store a unique name that aligns with the type of products you plan to offer. Whether you go with something like urban artworks or vintage vibes, the name should capture the essence of what your store is all about. You want potential customers to instantly understand the theme or vibe of your products just by reading the name. Once you've settled on the perfect name, the next step is to click on the Create Store button. This will officially set up your online store, and you'll be able to begin customizing the design. Take some time to think about the branding, as this is where you can set yourself apart from the competition. You can choose a store logo, set a banner image, and customize your store's color scheme and layout to suit your style. The key here is to create a cohesive and inviting space that encourages shoppers to browse and buy your products. Here's a pro tip. When you start creating your store, set it to private mode. This allows you to fine tune every detail without the pressure of being live. You can play around with designs, layout, and product listings, and make sure everything looks perfect before you make it public. Once you're confident with how it's shaping up, just switch it to public, and you're good to go. Additionally, don't forget to add a catchy tagline. Something memorable that gives potential customers an instant idea of what your store offers. For example, stylish essentials for every lifestyle or crafted with passion, made for you could work, 
depending on your niche. Speaking of niches, let me dive into this for a second. Focusing on a specific niche is one of the most important decisions you'll make when building your store. The more defined your target audience is, the more successful you'll be in catering to them. A general store that sells everything to everyone can come off as unfocused. Instead, narrow your focus. Whether that's custom-designed yoga mats for fitness enthusiasts or handcrafted tote bags for book lovers. By targeting a particular group, you can create designs that speak directly to their interests and needs, helping your store stand out. Plus, when you focus on a niche, you're not just creating products, you're building a community around your brand. This makes marketing and promotion much easier because you already know exactly who you're talking to. Once your tagline is ready, it's time to focus on your about section. This is your opportunity to connect with potential customers on a deeper level. Take a moment to share the story behind your brand. What inspired you to start your store? What makes your design special? And what sets you apart from other sellers? Let your personality shine through, and don't be afraid to get a little creative. For example, if you're designing eco-friendly products, you could talk about your passion for sustainability and how that influences your design choices. If you're making custom artwork for home decor, share your journey into the world of design and the importance of creating pieces that turn a house into a home. It's all about building that connection with your audience. A great about section will not only explain who you are but also why customers should choose you. It gives them a reason to believe in your brand and trust you. Make sure you also highlight what makes your store unique. Whether it's the high quality materials you use, your customer service, or your unique designs, tell your audience exactly why they should shop with you. This section is your chance to create a lasting impression before they even see your products. Next up, you'll need to personalize your store even further by adding a banner image. This banner sits at the top of your store page and sets the first impression for your visitors. To add this banner, click on the Upload Media button, and you'll be prompted to select your image. It's essential that you choose a wider, horizontal image so that it looks good across the top of your store. Avoid using images that are too square or vertical, as they might not display well in the available space. Once you've picked your banner image, upload it and take a moment to preview how it appears on the page. If the image doesn't fit perfectly, you may need to adjust the sizing or even crop it slightly to make sure it aligns properly. Sometimes it's a bit of trial and error to get it just right, but don't worry. It's a part of the creative process, and it's not uncommon to make a few adjustments along the way. Consider using an image that reflects your brand's identity, whether that's a snapshot of your designs in use, a stylish background, or something that complements the theme of your store. A well-chosen banner can make your store feel more professional and appealing. Take your time with this step because a striking banner can draw customers in and set the tone for the entire shopping experience. Now, it's time to complete some essential details for your store. You'll be asked to fill in your website URL, even if it's just a placeholder for now. If you don't have an official website yet, that's perfectly fine. Zazzle allows you to proceed and start selling without one. The key is to set up a URL that works for your store, even if it's just a temporary one, while you build up your online presence. Next, you'll want to add some relevant tags that will make it easier for potential customers to find your store. These tags should be closely related to the type of products you offer. For instance, if you design quirky tote bags, you could use tags like unique totes, handmade bags, or eco-friendly fashion. Think about words and phrases that your target audience would use to search for the types of items you create. Having the right tags ensures that your store is discoverable by the right people. 
Don't forget to select your country and state to ensure your store is localized for your audience. This is important for things like shipping options and making sure your store is tailored to customers in your region. Once you've filled in the basic details, you're ready to jump into the creative part, designing your products. This is where the real fun begins, so take your time and let your imagination guide you. Zazzle offers a huge variety of products you can personalize. Whether you're thinking about designing apparel, bags, or posters, or even more niche items like custom notebooks, water bottles, or pet accessories, there's something for everyone. For example, if you decide to design a hoodie, you'll want to first select the apparel category, then browse through the different hoodie styles available. Zazzle gives you the flexibility to choose from a range of options, from basic cotton hoodies to more premium fabrics, each with its own price point. Make sure to explore the different styles to find one that best aligns with your brand's vibe and target audience. After choosing the product, you'll be directed to the customization page where you can get creative. This is where you'll upload your designs, whether they're images, logos, or text. The interface is straightforward. Once your design is uploaded, it will appear on the product so you can see exactly how it will look. You can easily resize the image, reposition it, and adjust colors or text size. If you're not sure about your design, there are also features like grids or guides that help you align everything perfectly. And don't forget about the additional tools that Zazzle offers to take your designs up a notch. You can add special effects, borders, clip art, and even pre-made icons that align with your theme. These extra elements can really help make your products stand out and appeal to a wider audience. Play around with the customization options until you're happy with the result. This is where the magic happens. Once you're satisfied with your design, it's time to list it in your store. Start by giving your product a catchy title that clearly describes what it is. This will help potential customers quickly understand what you're offering. You'll also need to decide which collection your product should belong to. Collections are a great way to organize your items, so if you have a variety of designs, consider grouping them into themes or categories. For example, you might create a travel essentials collection for items like custom luggage tags and travel mugs or a home sweet home collection for personalized pillows and blankets. Additionally, Zazzle allows you to offer customization options on your products, which is a great way to attract more buyers. You can give customers the ability to add their name, change the color, or even upload their own images to make the product truly one of a kind. This adds an extra layer of appeal and can increase the likelihood of a sale especially if your designs cater to a niche market. These small personal touches can make all the difference, as customers are often drawn to items that reflect their own personality or preferences. Once you've set all the details, you can add your product to the store. But don't stop there. Keep refining your collection, adding new designs, and updating your listings to keep your store fresh and engaging. The more you tailor your offerings to your audience, the more likely they are to return for future purchases. Before launching your store, it's crucial to take a moment to review everything thoroughly. Go over every detail to ensure that all the information is accurate, from your store's name to your product descriptions and tags. Check that all the designs appear as they should, with no awkward cropping or misalignment. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of launching, but taking this final step ensures that your customers will have a seamless experience from the start. Once you're happy with how everything looks, it's time to make your store public. Hit that publish button and take your store live. But the work doesn't stop there. You'll need to start promoting it. Social media is one of the most powerful tools for getting the word out. 
Whether you're posting on Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest, sharing your products with your followers can help generate traffic to your store. You can also reach out to your personal network and ask them to spread the word. If you have a mailing list, sending out a newsletter announcing your new store can be a great way to engage with potential customers. Offering a limited-time discount or a special promotion for your subscribers is a good incentive to drive early sales and create buzz. And if you don't have an email list yet, now's the time to start building one. The more ways you can spread the word, the more chances you'll have to get your products in front of the right audience. Launching your store is exciting, but it's just the beginning. Keep pushing forward by constantly promoting and refining your offerings to keep customers coming back for more.